a California pistachio orchard, an airport Marriott in Atlanta, and a luxury mall in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, and let's not forget the old Patriot News Building in downtown Harrisburg. What do all these places have in common? You, dear taxpayer, own a stake in all of them. Thanks to several decades of investments made by the Public School Employees Retirement System, or PCERS for short. That's the pension fund that safeguards the retirements of some 500,000 educators statewide and is currently under investigation by the FBI. The fund began buying property in the 1980s. At the time, pensions were boring, relying mostly on a combination of bonds and professionally managed investment funds. If an investor like Peacers wasn't happy with the fund's performance, their primary recourse was to sell. Owning physical real estate, however, gave Peacers a level of freedom. To a certain extent, it called the shots, and if a particular property, for example the Marriott Hotel, failed to meet revenue expectations, Peacers could fire and replace the asset manager and still own the property. Likewise, doing business through holding companies, the Peacers name does not appear in most of the public records associated with these properties, insulated the system from some liabilities and also made their transactions a bit more difficult to track. The system's first investment was in itself its brick headquarters on North 5th Street near the Capitol, built at a cost of about $8.5 million. Next up was a Marriott Hotel near Atlanta's International Airport, representing an $88 million investment as of the start of this year. Throughout the early 90s, Peacers continued to buy properties. But after several of these investments underperformed, Peacers began to sour on real estate. As several people involved in the pension fund at the time told me, owning property is a bit of a hassle, and at least at the time, the system decided it simply wasn't worth it. Peacers even tried to sell some of these properties with mixed results. Peacers gave it another go in 2016, ultimately investing $431 million into manufactured housing. These communities boasted a steady stream of revenue from people who, in many cases, own their homes, but rent the land they're situated on. It also picked up four apartment complexes and thousands more acres of farmland. The investment that drew the FBI, however, is a bit more close to home. For decades, 812 Market Street was the home of the Patriot News. In 2010, after Penlau's parent company relocated the newsroom, the old building was put on the market. There it sat for seven years, at which point a company called 20 Lake Holdings purchased it for $644,000. 20 Lake is a subsidiary of Alden Global Capital. That name may ring a bell because Alden is a hedge fund best known for acquiring and gutting newspapers via layoffs and the sale of assets. 20 Lake specialized in scooping up former newspaper buildings and flipping them for a profit, even if Alden didn't buy the underlying newspaper business. Six months after that transaction, 20 Lake turned around and sold the old Patriot News building and several other parcels to Peacers for $1.6 million. Not a whole lot is known about the mechanics of the deal, and Peacers, citing the ongoing investigations, has kept mostly mum about it. But one former Peacers employee had this to say. Someone got hosed. Either Penn Live received less than the land was worth, or the state of Pennsylvania paid far more than it was. There's a lot more to this story, which you can read on penlive.com, and we're learning more bit by bit as the year progresses, so stay tuned. And please consider supporting your local journalist. 